Hi everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I have Miss Spidey Underground over here. She's a G Rosea. And um, today I wanted to talk about a video that I stumbled upon by complete accident. The, the YouTube algorithm just knows that I'll watch anything with tarantulas. And out of curiosity, I saw a video come up about van life and um, a woman who's like, video caption was something to the extent of living in a van with a pet tarantula and uh the channel was called travel snacks and i, I watched a few of this woman's videos because i was intrigued but um it was kind of like a q a type video that i guess her viewers and her community had put to her and i was very suspicious <laughs> and i had to watch the whole thing because i was like oh no she's not well i had my doubts I was kind of thinking maybe this is a possibility because several years ago there was a woman who had gone viral, super viral, very successful channel, I think called Janelle Eliana, I hope I'm saying her name correctly, and she went viral for her van life and she had a pet snake that she featured on the channel and she was talking about how wonderful a pet snake actually was as a companion on the road. Uh, especially when you ha are living within a van sized van sized area living space and you know that might be kind of tight with a dog or a cat it kind of did cross my mind that maybe she was being serious about a pet tarantula so i watched it and she did say that she was considering getting a pet she realized that a hamster or a fish was not going to work on the road she was also thinking like a dog or a cat might be too much work and also may not be fair to the animal to take on the road and so she did actually say that she thought about getting a tarantula, but eventually said, no, I, I don't have one and I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'll get one. Um, she left it kind of open to possibility, but um, as of right now, she doesn't have one. And it seems like she's not getting one anytime soon. This is, it kind of made me think about, is a tarantula an actual good pet for like van life or any type of mobile living? And I want to say no. I would definitely suggest against this. I know that with the crazy rising cost of homes, a lot of people are thinking about creative solutions for a living. And I don't blame them. And a little pet, like a small pet, a low maintenance pet like a tarantula might actually look quite attractive. However, I don't suggest this. Um, one thing, van life poses a lot of different challenges. I'm actually quite curious about van life, not because I will do it, but um, as a lifestyle, I think it's really interesting to see what people are doing and also how they are actually learning how to live in a very challenging economy and housing market. And so I really like to look at alternative ways of living just for fun. And so I thought it was important to talk about as van life does get more popular because there's a lot of different challenges that uh, can affect a tarantula. Yes, tarantulas are low maintenance in terms of care, but they do need some sort of stability and controlled environment. For example, if you watch van life videos, a lot of times in the summer and winter, they are talking about extreme temperature differences and issues with heating, issues with cooling, all sorts of things. Um, and they're also kind of at the mercy of, is my van working right now? And so for those reasons, um, I, you all know that tarantulas being in a cold environment is not good. And I know that like warmth is, I guess, less of a concern, but it, super hot temperatures are not very healthy for them either. So um, these animals do need to be in a temperature controlled environment, which I think is challenging. The other thing that I would think about is things like ventilation. So uh, van lifers can't have their windows open all the time. It's a very enclosed space. If this van lifer were to use perfumes in this space or certain cooking sprays or um, air fresheners, really anything um, or any type of cleaning chemicals, being in that kind of an enclosed space might also pose certain challenges. And some tarantulas really do benefit from ventilation to keep the moisture and the humidity and things like mold in check. So that may not be a good idea. Um, and, and as far as chemicals and things like that and ventilation, I think it does pose a threat because there is a condition called DKS that kills tarantulas and we don't actually know what causes it, to be honest. But chemicals or sprays, or aerosols are one of the things that, or one of the theories that may cause DKS. So 
why take the chance? Um, the other thing is like, how would you get feeders? Um, I mean, of course you could just go outside if you're in nature, but I wouldn't suggest that. That sounds like a great opportunity to introduce parasites or illness to your tarantula. The other thing I think is that a lot of van lifers don't stay in one place permanently. A lot of times they're driving, they're traveling. And the tarantula is a bit different than a snake. Not that snakes can withstand tons of movement or pressure, but tarantula bodies are so fragile so prone to exploding almost or popping or uh, getting punctures or injuries. If a van lifer is hitting some rough terrain, there's probably a lot of bumps. The tank could fall, which could be fatal for the tarantula, or they, the tarantula could also get injured on something in their tank. If it was climbing, it could fall and, and hurt itself. So I think that van life does pose certain challenges for tarantulas that I think you can't get around. I don't know how you can guarantee a solution for any of those things, um, especially if you are living like the van life lifestyle. But if you guys know of anyone who's actually successfully done it, or if you were thinking about doing it, I would love to know how the challenges were handled because uh, tarantulas are such an interesting animal to keep. And I love to see people embracing these creatures and, and thinking about them in different ways of life, different audiences of people getting interested in them. I just really want to advocate for the fair treatment and good husbandry of these creatures. So if you guys know anything more about that than I do, please let me know. I also want to know what you think about van life and tarantulas. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care.